A new report by the Canadian Federation of Independent Business says 54% of Manitoba small businesses have been impacted by crime and community safety issues, including vandalism, breaking and entering, public intoxication, theft and littering. The report titled Crime and Safety in Western Canada surveyed 2,809 Canadian small businesses, 114 of those in Manitoba. 63% experienced vandalism and break and enter, 62% theft and shoplifting, 53% waste and litter, and 40% have had significant occurrences of public intoxication. Juan Barachina, co-owner of Clothing Bakery, says they haven't had too many personal experiences of safety concerns at their store. He says there was an unsuccessful break-in attempt earlier in the year leading them to get more security cameras, and they've also dealt with the occasional occurrence of an intoxicated person coming through their doors. We would just uh, tell them respectfully if they could go or uh, call the exchange patrol if they're not complying. Um, but for the most part, there hasn't been much in our star. David Edward Dewick is in charge of maintenance for the building, where he also has his business, Junk Heaven. He says there are also problems with garbage and graffiti in the alley right outside, and will be working with the building's owner to put some measures in place. And I'm taking precautions and measures to put in cameras and lights and even an alarm. The report mentions that the increased focus on crime in the public discourse can influence consumer decisions and deter them from certain areas, highlighting that there seems to be a significant increase in the public's interest in crime-related topics based on the number of Google searches when it comes to crime in Canada since January 2022. Owner of Bodegos, Nick Van Seglin, says they've had their business in downtown Winnipeg for around 21 years and experienced three break-ins. He says he hasn't had safety issues in his time there, and the way downtown Winnipeg is constantly being spoken about in a bad way keeps people away, ultimately adding to the problem. It's gotten a little overblown uh, with media uh, and, and the way that they portray the downtown. Um, crime's happening everywhere in the city. It's not just downtown. Um, and I think that downtown's getting a big slap in the face. He says more people visiting the area would make it safer, like businesses having their employees work on sites. Darkness only goes away with uh, lights, and in this case, people coming downtown is the light that ch chases the shadows away. The report highlights the importance of improving public spaces, addressing affordable housing, and allocating more resources to deal with mental health and addiction challenges to tackle crime and safety concerns for small businesses. In Winnipeg, Timmy Olatunde, City News.